Hello beautiful soul, this is your Julia and in this video I would like to talk to you about ancestral healing. I want to share with you a story, an experience that occurred in one of my client sessions. For those of you that are new to my channel, I am a quantum healing hypnosis practitioner. It's a type of hypnosis where I help my clients to truly relax their mind and, and body. And then with a specific script, we stimulate the right brain hemisphere until we reach theta brainwave state where we start accessing higher levels of consciousness and the wisdom of the body. And this particular session was very much like that, where my client experienced three different lives of three different ancestors of hers. And each of these had powerful messages that were deeply resonating with her and that made a lot of sense for her at this time in her life. She sent me an email a few weeks later after her session and she said it was a life-changing experience. So in particular, the experience that she went through, I felt it would be so good to share it with the world because many people can likely resonate with that. And I hope if you listen to this, you are guided to it because there is a similar story somewhere in your own family history so that you can relate to this and apply the healing to your own life. Before I'll share with you the three stories from three different ancestors and their messages that will hopefully resonate deeply with you too, I want to explain that this particular client came to see me because she wanted to find the root cause of her feeling apathy, sadness, unhappiness where she could not pinpoint what is the cause of it because she had a career that she loved she had a loving husband that she loved to two wonderful children and everything else in her life seemed to be in order she just could not explain why is she feeling this way for a long time now um, she thought that maybe the answer is in her past lives so when I regress her to the most appropriate time and space where she can find answers and healing that she's ready for, she saw a woman. It felt like two, three generations back. This woman seemed very unhappy. Apathy was the first word that came up. And when we followed the story of this woman, she was about to marry a man that she didn't love. It was an arranged marriage and she withdrew. She became isolated, didn't really express her wishes, needs and desires because they were ignored anyway. She had to follow the rules and expectations of her family and no one really listened to what she wants for herself. She felt invisible, unseen, unheard not really respected and she resigned because no matter what she did or said, it didn't matter. She had to follow the expectations of her family. We then took time to go back in time before she became this way and the subconscious of my client took us to the childhood of this lady where she was still full of joy and excitement about the world. She saw this world as an adventure and there was no worry in her about what's possible or what she can do or who she can be. She had a beautiful childhood where they had enough means to provide for everything they needed and life was simply wonderful. We could really tap to the essence of her spirit of how free and excited and joyful, how full of life she was. It was beautiful to see her this way. The next important scene that the subconscious took my client to was later in life where this lady was now married for a long time. She had children and she felt disconnected. As I said, she was very introverted. She didn't express her wishes, needs and desires with the world. And she didn't even really connect with her children at all. She didn't want these children. She didn't want a husband. She didn't want this life. She had different ideas about who she wanted to be and how she wanted to be. There was no love. There was no connection, really. 
because the resentment she was carrying for the unfairness and injustice in her life where she had to be someone who she, that she didn't want to be. The last day of her life was when she died in bed um, of the old age, her family around her, and she was dying still feeling resentful and regretting that she didn't live a life fully, that she allowed the outside circumstances take away her ability to feel happy and connected to her inner source of happiness and freedom. So as we followed the consciousness of this woman to the other side, when she left the body, when she left that lifetime, she presented herself as a great grandmother of my client with much love and encouragement for my client's life. She told her the following, I want you to see the freedom you have in your life to be who you want to be. You have a husband that loves you and a man that you chose to marry because you loved him. This is something I didn't have. You have two wonderful children that you love and are able to connect with. This is something I didn't have or didn't see that I had. You are free to do what your heart desires in terms of your career. You are doing what you love doing as your career. This is something I never had. You are so free to be happy and to be who you came here to be. Let go of this feeling of apathy. It isn't yours. This was my story. Your experience of life is supposed to be different. I thank you for taking time to connect with me. I now remember that I can be free and that I can release this energy of that lifetime because you are the first person that took time to see the truth of who I am. And for that, I'll be eternally grateful. I'm here to help you and support you in your life experience, to help you feel truly happy and connected to life. As this was happening, as she was channeling these messages from her great grandmother, she then mentioned my client that she sees her transforming in spirit. Now she saw her in this beautiful dress. Um, her posture changed, her energy changed. She saw her grandmother as a liberated spirit, as a free spirit now. There was no longer this feeling of sadness and heaviness and grief. Her grandmother transformed in front of her eyes and she also felt my client in her own physical body, this energy of heaviness and apathy, sadness and grief, resentment, leaving her chest. And she, she felt her own chakra, uh, heart chakra expanding and she just felt much, much lighter. But the main message was that she is loved by her great grandmother. She is honored, respected and encouraged to be happy to be truly happy because she can, because she has opportunities and possibilities in her life now that her great grandmother never had or didn't see she had. So if this is something that resonates with you too, where you see how many blessings you have available to you in your life, yet for some reason you cannot connect to them, I want you to take time to go within, connect with your body, with the wisdom of your body, with the intention to allow any energies in your body that belong to your ancestors, any emotions and unresolved feelings and beliefs that are limiting, that belong to your ancestors, to come up, up, up to the surface, for you to feel them truly, connect with the feelings that your ancestors had, and then you set the intention for your body to release these energies as something that belongs 
the past. It's the power of your intention to acknowledge something that isn't really yours and for you to acknowledge how difficult the circumstances were in your ancestral lineage and the difference between the life circumstances, possibilities and potential that is opening in front of you now and going forward. That simple acknowledgement can be so powerful where you, where you realize that there is stuff in your body, in your genes, in your bones, in your blood that actually belongs to your ancestors. And the reason why it is there is because we are supposed to connect to our ancestors. We're supposed to allow their wisdom, everything they've learned through their difficult experiences to support our own life so that we can evolve beyond who they were and what they experience. It was beautiful to watch her releasing these old energies, feeling lighter, brighter, and even her face looked a little bit younger. It's always amazing to see the transformation on a physical level. I feel so grateful for the work that I do. Anyway, she was ready to go deeper, so we set the intention for her subconscious take her to another place, another time, where there is information that is most appropriate for her to find answers and healing. So in the next moment, she found herself in the middle of war. She was a man in a ditch trying to survive, a lot of noise and very gray, dense, heavy energy and just adrenaline pumping through his veins. She mentioned that there is no time to think about who you are, where you came from, you're just surviving, pure survival mode. So we moved her to time before he came to war so that we can find out who he was and what was his life story. So in the next scene, she found herself at home as this man and he was eating supper, he, he lived with his mother, there was lightness, joy, happiness, peace in their home, that she could feel that he's a happy man, that he's grateful for many things in his life. They weren't particularly um, wealthy, they, he was a farmer, in the next moment after the supper he was out in the field working, it was a sunny day and he was singing, he was whistling. He smiled, he was happy. This was a man who was deeply grateful for things. He appreciated little things. And while we were in a scene where he was eating supper with his mother, my client could sense through him that they are aware that war is happening and that it, there is a possibility that he will have to go to war. But he himself, try to not think about it too much. He tried to be in the moment, appreciating what he had here and now. However, she could also feel, his mother felt that the day is coming when he will be called and he will leave her and she might not see him again. So she could pick up on that heavy, sad, grieving already energy of his mother. So indeed, as it happened, he went to war and he died there in that ditch. So that first scene that she saw him trying to survive, shortly after he actually passed away. So as we followed the consciousness of that man's soul to the other side, when he left that body, when he left that density of the war, and he went to this beautiful place where he could understand the purpose and meaning of his life, um, and he could also become aware of my client <clears throat> and her story. And he told her that he is her great-great-grandfather, telling her, encouraging her to live her life in peace. He, kept, he said it, I think, at least three times in the message that we gave her to realize that she is not fighting a war. And this was something that really resonated with her deeply because she was used to live her life where there was a lot of adrenaline. In her work environment, which was extremely busy, she was almost addicted to high stress, high level of stress and adrenaline. 
she acknowledged it herself that there was something that was part of her life where there was she, where she kept creating situations where she's running on adrenaline so he kept reassuring her and telling her that the importance of releasing that pattern of adrenaline addiction that she is not fighting a war that the energy in her body was originating in his lifetime and that he is now thanks to her releasing that energy of war from his soul aspect and so she can now too release that energy from her cellular dna structure and again we witnessed how her body released that heavy layer energy mainly from her belly area and her head area where she suddenly felt much more at peace more than ever before so again an incredible story and again the message was full of love and full of encouragement letting her know that he has her back that there is that she can trust that her current life experience is going to be different or is meant to be different than his that because he lived that and he learned from that she doesn't have to do that any longer she can receive his wisdom and release the density of the experience that he went through so absolutely incredible to watch and i hope you can resonate with this because don't we all have literally two three generations back our ancestors went through the experience of war that is very strong in our genes so listen to the story of your ancestors encouraging you to be at peace in this life appreciate the fact that you live in an experience where there is no war in your immediate environment be at peace release the need for adrenaline and embrace the freedom that you have that your ancestors didn't have we almost owe it to them to live our life fully because we have so many blessings in our life available to us that they didn't have okay so i hope this one helps too and then there was a third story third experience when my client was ready to move on to the next most appropriate time and place for her to find answers and healing that she was ready for she found herself in a house and in this house there was this little boy there was a mother and a father um, there was also an uncle <clears throat> The adults were having dinner and the little boy was playing by himself happy in his little world we then progressed him further so that we can find out a little more about his story and we realized that he couldn't speak properly he wasn't able to speak to communicate there was something with his brain where he wasn't able to speak and as he was growing he was experiencing some abuse where people laughed at him where they dismissed him as a retard and ha then he showed us how he was learning to cope to deal with it and to somehow integrate a little bit where he learned to do things in a way that was possible for him and to be of some use as possible but he also experienced a lot of abuse and certainly the main key for him was to be different he was different than the others and he didn't pity himself he had this strength inside his soul that allowed him to find beauty and appreciate little blessings when he was by himself connecting with nature connecting with this invisible world that most people don't perceive so as he went through his life as we followed him to the other side we saw the greatness and amazingness of his soul he was actually quite advanced and um, there was this great wisdom and immense light coming from his being he chose that lifetime he chose that challenged experience so that he can remain connected to the other side so that he can remain perceiving things that 
most people are not perceiving because they are so distracted by the every, by everyday experiences. So he was able to learn about um, human psychology, why people do things that they are doing, and the speech difficulty allowed him to be different. People not put, didn't put too much pressure on him. They just kind of accepted him as being different. So that was quite amazing. The message that he had for my client was for her to embrace that she is able to communicate really well. She's an excellent communicator. And for her to not be afraid to be different. That there is a blessing in the acceptance of us all being a unique expression of source energy. And for her to really go out there and follow that passion in her heart to teach people and educate them and help them become their better versions of themselves. She is a true leader uh, and for her to accept that. And this again deeply resonated with her because there was a part of her that was afraid to be different. There was a part of her that, that kind of grieved or was sad about the fact that she didn't feel fully connected with others. But seeing this story of one of her ancestors allowed her to release that sadness and celebrate what was available to her, what is possible, and to just go out there and be her best version of self to inspire others to do the same. So again, we witnessed some um, great energy release, being released from her brain, from her body, from her heart. And she was deeply grateful for the love and encouragement and wisdom that she tapped into. I hope you resonated with these stories and I hope this video will inspire you to take time to go within and ask your body to release any information that you're ready for and for you to connect with the wisdom of your ancestors because they're more than the trauma that they experience. They are bright lights that chose to incarnate in physical body, going through a density of human experience. So once you realize that they are immortal, then you can start tapping to their higher wisdom and allow that aspect of your ancestors to become your support, to become your loving connection that is unconditional. Because unfortunately, there are many of you that have immediate family that wasn't able or capable of giving you unconditional love and support that you needed at the time. So please know that for sure, for sure, there are ancestors in your lineage that are ready to give that to you because from this higher vantage point, you are tapping to higher aspects of their consciousness. And of course, there are lower aspects of their consciousness. But in my work, when I connect to ancestors, I always acknowledge that higher level of consciousness of their souls, of their spirit, that has the answers, that has a deep understanding of why we are a certain way, why our parents weren't able to give us love and support that we were looking for. They see how a lot of our trauma originates in their own stories, in their own choices and decisions that they've made. So they are so willing to help their descendants to release the, the traumas and the baggage that belong to them and then encourage them to become free from such limitations. So there is so much treasure, so much amazing inheritance in your ancestral lineage. If you feel that it's too much for you to deal with um, on your own or if you don't uh, know how to do that, you can book a QHHD session with myself or any other practitioners out there that you resonate with. I'll include links where you can search for a practitioner in your area. So you can do this through quantum healing hypnosis. Or if you don't like the idea of hypnosis, I also offer another modality which is called metaphysical anatomy healing. And without you needing to go into hypnosis, we together we tune in with the wisdom of your body we set the intention for old energies that belong to your ancestors to start coming up to the surface. And because you will be with me, I'll safely guide you through the experience. And you'll be amazed how, while you're awake, 
while you're present and aware, you just close your eyes, feeling in tune with your body, how you will start receiving these stories and clues and messages about your ancestors' experiences. And then I kind of go in with you, I tap in with you, so together we validate the information that is coming through from your body because it is all recorded in your DNA. Mainly throughout your spine, there is this current of energy that is like a library of information that brings you, that holds stories of your ancestors all the way back to stars, all the way back to our galactic origins. Because at some point, I wholeheartedly believe this from countless experiences, that we are genetically modified and we have galactic um, DNA in our body. So it's quite a fascinating topic and incredibly rewarding to connect with the history of your body. What you can also do in your daily practice is affirming, I am ready to understand and release any limiting behavior that originates in my ancestors' lifetimes. I'm keeping their wisdom, but I'm now willing and ready to release the density of their experience. Something like that. Just even having that intention for a few days, a few weeks, will help you start seeing patterns in your own behavior where you suddenly will feel a presence of one of your ancestors or maybe your mother or father or anyone in your family will suddenly come to you with a story of your family history that validates something that came to, through to you, through your intention, through your body. Because your body knows. Your body is incredibly wise. So anything like that, you know, play with this. And first of all, even just opening up to the idea that something like this is possible will shift your awareness enough for you to start experiencing these things on a subtle level. So I hope this helps. I look forward to hearing your feedback. And thank you for watching. Sending much love to you from Ireland. Bye for now.